In this video, I'll be showing you guys the quickest and easiest way that you guys can get yourself essence in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. After the launch of Season 2, most of the glitches that we could have used to get essence has now been patched and not even the tombstone method is reliable. But I'm gonna show you guys the easiest way that you guys can get essence and if you do this correctly, you can potentially have max essence in no time. So let's go ahead straight into the video and before we do so, quick word from today's sponsor U4G and they provide the best Call of Duty service, 50% off card points and cheap card redeem code. They have new service up and schematics and consumers unlocked. They are trusted by 1000 unchurched pilot. Click the link in the description. Use this code code PINEY for 5% off. Now the first thing you want to do is go over to gear. Go to your loadout and choose your class. I'm gonna be using the RAM 7 for this. These are the stuff that I will be carrying. I got a legendary eater tool, I got a eater blade, and I got the sculpture so I can move around the map pretty quickly. And as well as I got an existing tombstone, I think I should have a flawless crystal in there so I can get my weapon pack a punch now I think that should be it so we should be pretty good from here and now we can go ahead and start the game up so now that we are loaded in let's go ahead and use our stuff so I'm gonna use my aider blade and I'm gonna actually use my scotcher so I can move around pretty fast and now I can use this legendary tool on my ram 7 should be doing a ton load of damage but from here I want to make my way over to my tombstone but if we see any delivery cargo contract, we're gonna do it on the way, just like there's one right here. So this is how you're gonna be able to do this, guys. I know this is not a quick scheme. This is not a quick glitch where you can just rain money down on yourself or have somebody drop you money. Nowadays, it's gonna be pretty less player dropping money around the map since tombstoning is not reliable and you can lose it in a blink of an eye. So most of the time you won't be seeing anybody uh, dropping essence. Most people will be doing contract as you can see there. Somebody just beat me to that contract but let's actually <laughs> keep going. We should be able to see another contract somewhere on the map. So there's one right there plan of change guys before i go to the contract i'm gonna actually go to my tombstone since it's really really close it's just right over here then i'm gonna add for the tier 3 which i should get more essence there so okay so there is these stuff still here i think all of those stuff was there from oh let me let me be careful here let's be really really careful i can uh, throw this over there try to get these zombies away and let me jump in. I have a dog bone by the way. Okay, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use this as well. Okay, luckily there is a delivery cargo here. Guys, this is pretty risky, but since I have the scotcher and I have decoy, I should be good. And I still got a dog too, so I'm pretty much steady. We wanna do this as fast as possible, so we just try not to waste any time. As well as we're gonna need to go to the dark eater, so we will need a uh, sigil, maybe an elder sigil or a regular sigil will do fine, and we should be good. It's okay. Uh, we got a mimic there. Okay, let's. Oh, the first time we got a we got ourselves a nice little sigil there, so we should be good. Um, okay, let's actually equip this. And now let's take this sigil plus the self res. Let me actually equip my self res. Okay, I don't want to go down now. Okay, it just confused me. But let's now continue doing some contract. We got 5k. We can get our hands on some perks. Okay, so let's go. We actually did get ourselves a large vest. So we should be Gucci on that. I just equipped it. And I just had to take out these zombies real quick. Now we just need to get ourselves some perks so we can actually have a chance in here. <laughs> I mean, it's super important to get yourself at least these three perks. You're gonna need uh, stamina up and you're gonna need jug and speed call. Those are the three most important ones that I always get the first time. So, uh, wait, I did not get it this time around. 
Okay, I, I'm gonna need some more cash. Should have got the speed, but it's okay. Should be Gucci. Okay, so we got another contract complete. So let's actually dig in our loot. Okay, so my dog was apparently gone for a few seconds, but now she is back. Let's dig in. Wow, I got another three plate vest. I think I'm okay. I'm gonna just use this perk. I'm gonna need this. And uh, yeah, now we got like 7,000. So all we're doing from here, guys, is just stocking up on our cash. We don't wanna spend it on anything. I only got one of my weapons fully packed to level three. And uh, the next one is just pretty much for my transport for our first bounty we got a decipher i think it's it's my worst nightmare like i hate the disciples so bad you wouldn't even understand but i'd rather get the abomination than a disciple they're just a nine One eternity later. I think this is actually time wasting. Alright, let's actually buy stamina up. And we're gonna buy a tombstone as well. Alright guys, I end up have to cancel the disciple can check. It was taking too long, just too long just to take him out. So I just canceled the contract. If that happened to you, I suggest that you just cancel the contract and just do something else. It's ridiculously hard to take out just one disciple. I don't know if, if they got maybe uh more health or something, but it seems strange. Alright, let's grab this other contract and let's pray it's not another disciple because I'm gonna just instantly no way dude It's another disciple. I'm quitting. I, I am quitting so bad I'm not even doing it dude. This game just hates me so bad. It just throw another disciple at me As I was saying, I don't want to fight anymore Let's actually go ahead and do this one Okay, I got this one complete so, oh, should be good. Let's actually be careful. I'm gonna make my way to at least 30,000 essence and I should be good. Let me actually do this other old last year. Once I'm at 30k, I'm gonna just dip and go straight into the dark ether where I think we should be able to make another 30k. I know we can make even more, but we'll see how the end result. Alright, so now we have finished completing all our contracts and that we possibly can because the storm is now coming in so we need to make our way straight to the dock eater and right now I got like 41 grand. If I really was to try hard, I could have made more but it is what it is and 40 grand is OP I think um then from here you want to get into the dock eater and if you guys have it by yourself a tombstone perk you need to go ahead and buy yourself a tombstone perk and luckily there is one conveniently right there in the dark ether by the gas station so at this point you just want to complete all of your three contracts in there and potentially you should get like maybe 30 grand i think sometimes you get less but um if you kill zombies and uh do a whole lot of stuff you we'll get about 30 grand so you can see i just complete this got a few uh legendary tools so first let me grab this other one and yeah now we completed it so let's go on to the next one which <laughs> unfortunately i fail you know the s card is where it get really challenging 
but yeah once you completed all of them you should end up with about 30 grand for me i have like 50 something grand and actually you want to down yourself once you're ready to leave you're gonna just down yourself or just have a zombie down you and then you're just gonna give up just like that and you should get eliminated and once you get eliminated just like that it should bring you back to the lobby so you can now go ahead and start up a brand new game and your tombstone should be set and they're ready for you with all of your essence and all of your stuff that you have previously so let's go straight into it Okay, so now we are in, as you can see on the countdown, you can see my tombstone displaying right there on the screen. So from here, guys, we want to make our way over to our tombstone just like that. And voila, you can see I got all of my 50k right there. Well, that's all you can actually grind the game out and get yourself some essence. And if you do this over and over, like maybe 10 times or a little more, you can get like max essence. But who cares about max essence when your tombstone is not safe anyways? You can, your tombstone can be gone any time at a blink of an seconds so pretty much it's not convenient and i would urge you guys to do this just to get your tombstone taken away from you so pretty much i i think i would do like maybe have like 150k in my stash and that should be good like you don't need to have more than 150k like what would you spend it on would you buy a brand new mclaren <laughs> it's not possible dude so you don't need so much money in this game and apparently with that said guys i'm gonna wrap this one up i hope you guys did enjoy please drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and i'll catch you guys in the next one have a great day <coughs>